And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Gomer Play Star Tropics. Last time we went through, holy shit, that it was nearly an hour. Oh my god. Just, ah. That was so long. I debated whether or not I wanted to split it up into parts, but then it's like, uh, it's not really my style, so. Big one. Big as a whale. You missed a big one. Ah, I've missed big ones too. I don't fish. My daddy is a fisherman. Oh, is that who I just talked to? Become a good fisherman like my daddy. Oh, wow. Small fisherman's village. I'm a fisherman. Welcome to Tuna Cola. That's two terms I never want mixed together. Could you imagine a tuna flavored cola? Ew! Raw Fish Eaters Island Sushi Cola. You know, as a kid, I did not get this joke, but now I do. <laughs> Sushi Cola, okay. Hi, my name is Bait. I'm not going for it. Today I met a guy sailing all the way from Sea Island to find a boy like you. Oh? And he's still rowing his raft on the East Ocean. Oh, wait, somebody was trying to find me? Holy shit, so on the East Ocean. Okay. Alright, so let's go find him. By the way, this is like the last chapter where you can just like get in and out of subsea without some sort of cutscene. After this chapter, you're gonna have a cutscene after every time you get into subsea. So let's go. Oh, what's this? Oh shit! I've been eaten by a whale. Do I look like fucking Jonah to you? God damn! This is the bulk of the chapter. Oh hey, Babu. This is the bulk of the chapter, by the way. Wow, Mike, it's me, Babu, Doctor J's assistant. Do you remember me? Vaguely. At last I found you, but did we have to meet in the belly of this whale? Maybe? I must tell you, I witnessed the kidnap of your uncle. A huge flying ship appeared in the sky. I did not tell you because I was afraid it would return for me. Didn't I call this in the first episode? But the Southern Cross gave me courage and strength to find you. I'm sorry I was scared, but now I must help. Let's find a way out of this fish with bad taste. Well, let me see. That's it, Mike. We'll make him sneeze. Let's build a fire. Because that's logical. Dr. J gave me a lighter. It was in my pocket. Pocket? Shoot! I lost it when I was swallowed. How the fuck? It must be around here. Let's find it. Of course. And I'm not going to spend the chapter going through every little nook and cranny just to show you every part of this goddamn whale. Uh, there are places you can get out and walk, but once you get the lighter quest, you don't even have to get out. You won't have to get out until the very, very end. So, ah, uh, so you use subsea, go through this thing, and, and as I do this, and try and recall from memory, <laughs> as I do this, because it's been a long time, um, let's see, what to talk about, what to talk about, let's see, the previous chapter, chapter three, yeah, that, that, as you know, it took over 40 minutes, I, I knew it was going to be long, but holy shit, I did not expect it to be that long. God damn. And and you saw how I went through. I mean, I wasn't trying to slack off or anything. It's just... Okay, is this it? Yes, this is it. Ugh. Oh. No, not that one. That one. There we go. Yeah, it's just... Oh, God. I, I don't even know if speedrunners could do it in less than an hour. Maybe. Uh, well, you have to talk to everybody. And although, to be fair, there are some instances where I didn't have to talk to everybody, I'm sure. But, you know. Oh, hey, lighter. I got a lighter, and it looks weird. But, you know, it's one of those Zippos, you know? Why can't I just start a fire right here? You know, light my clothes on fire. That would work. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you're just not close enough to the to the damn whale's nose or something. Now to get back, very easily, you go through. Whoop. I honestly thought it would take a little longer. Oh, <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Ah. So, quick shortcut. Back to the beginning. Hi, how you doing? Mike, let's build a fire. Do you want to build a campfire in the belly of this whale? We've built a fire. It's getting smokier. It's getting smokier. Mike, help. I've got smoke in my eyes. Smoke gets in your eyes. Wow, that's a that's a throwback. It's getting smokier. Ha 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 ha. Ha Whale quake. Oh my god! Whee! Boop. 
We shattered our bones, but we're out of the whale. We made it. I promise never to smoke again. Good for you. Oh, Mike, I have to tell you Dr. J's last words. Evil aliens from a distant planet. Tell Mike to dip my letter in water. Do you understand? Now this... Oh, God. <laughs> this thing. Uh, everybody who's... Anybody who's even researched this game will get it, but if you've never... If, if this is, like, your first time exposed to Star Tropics, I'll explain it to you. When the game originally came out in 1990, it came with a letter along with the usual instruction booklet. And it, it's, a, it's a letter that, that was sent from Dr. J to Mike, you know, inviting him out to, to Sea Island and visit and everything. And what this refers to is dipping that letter in water. You physically had to dip the letter in water. Which, I'm actually one of those lucky people that was able to go and do this. So you dip it in water, and it gives you a number. And I'll show you that number in just a few minutes. Uh, he's been abducted by aliens in the flying ship. Mike, leave me here. I'll be okay. Please help Dr. J. Are you sure? Because, I mean, we just got spewed out of the belly of a whale. I mean, we might have broken bones. You might have broken bones. I mean, I mean, are you sure? You sure? I mean, are you absolutely sure? Oh, psh. Oh, he just... He just says all this again. Okay. I never knew that. Ah. So, okay. Now come here, Captain. Input frequency. Now, those three numbers refer to this, the frequency. Seven. Four. Seven. And that's the frequency tracking system set for Dr. J's location. If I pick up a signal, I'll alert you. Subsea is ready to launch. All ahead full. And this is it. This is, this is chapter four. This is, this is it. Once I press the A button, it's done. <laughs> Seriously. And, and here's something else. Why didn't we think to do this towards the beginning of the game? Anybody know why? I don't know. Uh, but then again, even if we did, we may still have had to, you know, take care of the dolphins or, or, or you know, get caught up in that storm. So, eh, it may not have affected things much. But at any rate, this is literally the end of the chapter. Literally. Con compared to the last one, holy shit, man. Uh, see? We're already at chapter 5. <laughs> the strait is blocked. Uh, so, while we look at the blocked strait, I'm going to end this here because I have this I have this thing. I want to do one chapter per video, which is why the last one was so long. Uh, so, so, hopefully this next one won't be quite as bad. But at any rate, thank you guys for watching. Again, like I said, short video. I'd be surprised if this is like 10 minutes, if that. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoyed it. If you like this and you want to help support, you know, future videos like this, podcasts, whatever, uh, head over to patreon.com slash gomer21xx for as little as $1 per production. You can get you can get videos like this early. And with these Let's Play videos, I tend to put them up in batches on Patreon. So, whereas everybody else gets them on the normal, like, you know, weekday schedule, you guys can see them all at once, right away, <laughs> if you, for just one dollar per production, uh, pledge, that is, so, that's, that's, I think that's a pretty good deal, uh, so, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching once again, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off!